My name is Jennifer Carr. I live in Brooklyn, New York. Um, I'm 33 years old. I uh, was born in London and um, I've lived in the United States for most of my life. Um, I grew up in Connecticut and Alaska and I've lived in New York now for 11 years. I work in independent documentary film. Um, I also work with radio producers and I have an author that I work with. I own my own company, Borderline Media. Um, and I basically help people distribute their work, um, help them develop their audience and, and do you know, alternative distribution models. And my father um, was a corporate executive and his company in the 80s was was bought out by another company, you know, real Wall Street, um, greed is good kind of stuff. <laughs> and uh, and he, um, yeah, it was just a, it was just a strange confluence of things. We basically ended up without a home, and my father without a job, and my mother was sick at the time. So there's a lot of it, it's like classic, a lot of bills coming in because of um, uh, her illness, and. Um, we didn't really have a we didn't really have a social network. We didn't really have a huge group of people that could help for the extended period of time that we were going through what we were going through. So um, we stayed at people's houses. Um, a member of our church allowed us to stay at their house while they were on vacation for a summer. Um, and we went. You know, it was interesting. There were periods of um, staying at people's homes or living in a hotel room or renting an apartment, but when you go through an extended period of, of, of not being financially secure, it's really easy to fall back into, you know, being in a bad position. We never stayed in a shelter or anything like that, but we were always bouncing around in different places. Um, and then, um, eventually, my mother passed away, and um, the situation got bad enough that we, my, my family, my father and my siblings and I were living in a car, and um, I think I was about 14 at the time. And uh, we we moved to uh, we moved to live with our grandmother, who lives in Alaska, and that's how I ended up living and moving to Alaska, living there for eight years. Um, it was because of that period of time when my family was, was homeless. I think that. This country is about to go through an experience of increased homelessness. I mean, it's already started. It's already started in the Gulf Coast. It's already started in New Orleans, where people have lost their homes and they have nowhere to go. Um, that hasn't gone away. Um, people are still homeless. And it's going to get worse with the housing crisis. And if we don't start thinking about people in this situation as human beings and, and try to take away the stigma, um, about homelessness, and there are going to be a lot of people who don't who can't get help. Um, there were so many people who were so great to my family, who were so helpful to my family, and it was very difficult for us when we were going through it um, and having a sense of pride and coming from a certain kind of class status and not wanting to have to ask for food stamps or welfare or go to a shelter. You know, we just wouldn't do it because we understood um, how people were going to view us and how we were going to be treated. So um, I don't know if things might have been easier for us or, you know, if that long stretch when all I had to eat every day was oatmeal for like six months, if that might have been different if there wasn't such a stigma attached to, you know, getting help. Um, yeah, I think that's what.